Hey guys, Sports Nomad here. Today, guys, we are not even in Greater Los Angeles and we're not even in LA County. But for the sake of simplicity and for the sake of people who are not familiar with Southern California, I'm just going to keep it in the title since we're not very far from downtown LA anyway. Uh, we're about 35 miles east in the next county in San Bernardino County at Prado Golf Course. Uh, there's 36 holes here. It's got two courses, guys. And we're going to be playing on the Chino Creek course. The other course is the Butterfield course. So there's a map for you guys to see. And if you guys arrive before 7 a.m., you can walk on for the back nine of either of your choice. So that's what I did today. We almost beat the sun, as you can see. So yeah, guys, if you decide to come out here to Chino at Prado Golf Course and you want to walk on for nine, just get here before 7 a.m. and... They will happily accommodate you. So for our sports news, guys, let's get back into NBA. I recall at Altadena talking about our Lakers, guys, and I was saying that they don't have a very deep roster, that I don't think they're going to make a run. And I think now that they can make a run, you know, looking at the roster again, I see they got obviously a 1A and a 1 in Davis and LeBron. And with the pieces they picked up, you got a, a big in Jared Vanderbilt, you got a nice power forward in Ruri Achimura. I'm going to have faith in them now. So I'm going to assume they can make a run, guys. And for our final four news, guys, I am pulling for San Diego State. UCLA is out of it. I'm going to go with our buddies down south and pull for San Diego State, guys. So there's the pudding greens. You guys can see that plenty of people arrive. They probably already have tea times, but what I did was just come before 7 a.m. on the dot and I'm walking on for the back nine on the Chino Creek course so here we go so here's the ninth hole I'm gonna put it as the one here on the channel just for uh, simplicity and we got a good drive guys you know it's morning still a little tight but smooth swing beautiful so here's my five hybrid my best friend Jake let me borrow and it's not a good shot, guys. It's topped, and there's a creek up ahead. So it went into the drink, and we're going to have to take a drop already for now our fourth shot. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to use that club. You know, it's so early in the morning. You know, we're tight, and, you know, we're not very experienced here. Probably a bad choice. So there's um, a view of the drink that I went in, and it looks nice other than uh, the clothing. Uh, I don't know how that got there. You think you only see that in Los Angeles, but here in San Bernardino County, you're going to see it too. So there's our chip for approach. I really believe that was our bogey shot. And let's uh, stop the bleeding here. Line it up. And too much respect. Um, it looks like I thought it was going to break. Excuse me, it looks like um, I was just too soft with it. I didn't anticipate a break at all, and that's what I get for being too soft. So we're already, we're already three over, guys. Not the start we want. So let's have a, a lot smoother hole here. Let's try to avoid any drinks. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably go irons, you know, earlier in the morning for our long distance uh, second shots, you know. We are, we are tighter in the morning, so now I'm, that's something I'm realizing here for course management. Should have been using an iron here. And at least it went straight, guys. I will take straight any day, all day, as opposed to hooking it, shanking it. If it I'll take a base hit, pass the pitcher any day of the week. So we avoid the drink, guys. This is our uh, third shot. I'm going to take my eight iron here for our approach. Let's see what we can do. Not bad. Not bad at all. And as you guys know, I don't have a lot of loft in my shots, but I can care less about that. I'm just trying to get it as close to the pin as possible. So now I'm going to try to chip it onto the green for our par. And I like it. I just probably need it a little closer to the fringe, but that's a fine shot with me. So I'm feeling a little brave here, I'm trying to trip it again now, using my sand wedge. 
that's the only club I have with the most loft so I'm gonna be using my sandwich quite a bit for our chips anything probably 50 60 yards are within and it's another one guys you know when we have puts that close maybe I should be thinking put it in instead of trying to play a line when you're that close and you know it's gonna break maybe if you use a little more mustard it's gonna go in so I'm gonna take that um, thought right now all right guys 11th hole or third hole this is this is the back nine but I'm gonna write it as the third hole just so it's easier uh, or it's just more simple all right guys I'm going back with the five hybrid base hit up the middle past the pitcher and we're gonna settle for that guys you see me nodding my head but um, we're gonna be just fine with it you know well of course we want more distance but as long as it goes straight that's the most important thing it's my favorite club the five four. And got a yo four from my buddy drew you see the pin is to the left of that bunker and I flared it left luckily I didn't hit him so now we're on our par shot guys I got my sandwich for our approach And that's our worst shot of the day so far, guys. And, and it's embarrassing. So we had people behind us. I conceded the hole. Uh, no worries, guys. Let's just move on. Brand new hole right here. And that's, we're already feeling a lot better after that drive for sure. So I believe, what hole is this? I believe the 13th. Excuse me, 12th. Fourth hole would equate to the twelfth. Got my five hybrid. And you guys, we did it, guys. We freaking did it. Our first good second shot with the five hybrid. And I was probably admiring that shot for at least 30 seconds, but I'm not going to make you guys watch that. But I was in disbelief. And our third shot's with our eight iron, and it's another good shot, guys. So we're piecing together this hole really good. And from the hole before, you wouldn't think we can do it, but that's the thing about this game. It's, uh, you know, just like tennis, one point at a time, you know, baseball, one pitch at a time, and golf, one shot, one hole at a time. And on this shot, we couldn't, you know, complete the whole, we couldn't string the whole thing together. You know, this is a really difficult game. But after our drive in our second shot we are feeling a lot better for sure this game demands perfection guys no doubt more than any other games I played you know, baseball football basketball tennis this is the one that requires the most perfection in my opinion and that's why I embrace this stuff guys you know you can have horrible shots but no uh, that with this game it's every hole is a new hole a brand new visuals, different terrain, everything. It's like kind of like wiping your slate clean if you can manage to have a, you know, a good temperament. And I use my four iron on that three par, guys. You know, I'm not, I don't get a lot of loft or distance, and I think I chunked that one a little bit. And here's our second shot with the sand wedge, guys. And I was going for a backspin here, thinking it's going to stop on the dime, but it kept rolling. So I did what I tried, but there was no backspin. So now we got a, a doozy of a putt, but um, I did like my shot. I now know that I don't have much backspin, so I'm going to probably try to make it land uh, a lot more prior to the hole. Burning lips, sinking ships. So, um, you know, when you burn lips, you know that you're trying to read it well. So we're going to settle for that, guys. And we are now 11 over on the sixth hole, guys. So... Um, we're not looking good at all uh, on the scorecard, but we've had some good shots, you know, and I think I've had my first good second shot on the channel with my five hybrid, so that's something positive. We're going to take the driver here and look where our shot lands. And the shot felt good, no doubt it felt good, but it, it did not uh, land in a good spot, guys. We're in the rough, so I'm going to take my... One of my favorite clubs, the 5-iron, just punch it out. 
And now thinking about it, I, I recall a lot of um, opinion saying that, you know, when you punch out, you want it, the ball to be more towards your back foot. And I did not do that. And I think I need to remember that. So there's me taking a full swing. Uh, now thinking about it, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. So there's a creek right over there. And I wanted to get it over that creek, guys. And we do it again, guys. We're on a, we're on a roll now. You know, it wasn't uh, consecutive, but we have a second good shot with the five iron. I was trying to make it over that creek, and I did not, guys. Of course, it, when it's a good shot, it goes into the ravine, and I just wanted it to get right over. So there's a view of that ravine right there. So there's the drop. Now I got my sand for our bogey. Chunked it. RIP Gophers. I gotta pick my head up. You know, Tony's very disappointed in himself there. But after that shot with our five hybrid, hey guys, there's some improvement. So I'm gonna take the sand again, see if we could chip it on. Yikes. It looks like I got that on the heel. Yeah, shaking my head on that one for sure. So I'm, I'm not gonna have the um, the yardage or the the shot here because of you know quite frankly it's embarrassing. So now you know the goal the goal of the channel anyway is to show you guys just courses here in uh, Southern California. So you know that's the main goal here. And um, if we're doing good, then you know we'll have all the scores and the yardages up. But yeah, not on this guys. So quad bogey here. Disappointing hole. Let's get out of there. All right, guys. Seventh hole, part three. I'm going to take the five hybrid again. And let's see what I can do. Oh, oh, yeah. Off of the toe, guys. Off of the toe. Horrible. But um, now we got to go Easter egg hunting. And we find it. So now I got the sandwich here, guys. Let's see what we can do. Do not top it. It's all you want to really... I need to focus on for sure. And it looks like that's, that's what we did again, guys. So um, if we're going to have a theme of, on this video, it's for sure tops. Uh, we're seeing that a lot, guys. And I need to work on uh, staying down and hitting the center of the face. For sure those two things, guys. So our theme's going to be tops here. And if there's a song that would represent this video, it would be Tops by the Rolling Stones. Tops galore. I'm topping the shit out of everything. Uh, so, let's see what we can do here. What can we salvage on this part three, guys? The flat stick has not been hot, but um, I don't recall having a lot of three putts. You know, so don't want to put it on the diamond lane. That's all that really matters here. Well, there's a two putt, guys. Let's get out of there. I remember when I hear people saying, "Oh, I towed it," I mean, I thought it was literally coming off of the your the toe of your lead foot, but now what it seems like they're talking about is the toe of the club, which is um the part going outside. All right, guys, decent drive. I'm using my uh, bazooka here, the bazooka tour edge. So I'm gonna take my five hybrid, guys. And see if we can have a third good second shot on this round. And we do, guys. We get a hold of it. But guess what? We clip that tree. drops right down. So, very brave of me. Almost did it. But, you know, golf is a game of inches. You know. And there's another top. And there's a steam coming off, guys. You know, really frustrating. This is a very frustrating game. But, uh. You know, I, I brace it. I don't back down. I'm not going to quit. I still love the game. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. So there's another top, guys. You know, like I said earlier, we need to stay down. And uh, we need to learn how to stay balanced. Shout out to the gentleman who commented that on a prior video. Want to be balanced. And for sure want to stay down. Uh, you know, I'm coming up and I, I do need to find a drill. That's going to help me because there's another one there. So that's for sure. It's something I'm thinking about now. You know, just uh, disappointed in myself. But 
it went towards the pin. But we're going to take the grounders past the pitcher, even if we don't like them. We're getting on base. Here's a chip. And now we're feeling a little better. So if you guys got any th any tips for me on how to stay down and not top the shit out of the ball, I'd appreciate it, guys. You know, I'm barely staying afloat um, mentally as it is. So, yeah, guys, just really trying to um, have a nice even temperament and stay, um, you know, stay calm considering that this is probably one of the most difficult sports ever to play, in my opinion. So let's see if we can put this putt away for, gosh, I don't even know what. You know, I had to take that drop after um, topping it right there before the ravine. My buddy Drew said, just just drop it by me. So, of course, you know, I'm not going to uh, piss myself off even more. I, that's what I did. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to finish the hole. Fin fin you know. Yeah. So that's up, up, and foul ball. Hit that thing about a thousand yards up in the air, then probably got about a uh, ninety yards of distance. So embarrassing, embarrassing. But um, yeah, for um, a gentleman with the year under his belt, we're not gonna be perfect, obviously. So there's the five hybrid. You know, finally had some good shots with it prior on the round, and uh, that's for sure something I want to take away from this and um. Try to be more um, repetitive with is having good second shots, and we're gonna have to use iron to use irons too sometimes. So, yeah, so we're gonna try the club again, and that one does look top, but a um, little higher in the air. Stinger, base hit, we'll take it. So here's our par shot, guys, and we're gonna stick with this five hybrid and just try to get better with it, guys. You know. Maybe I should practice it with it more before a round. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments. And, you know, there's the, the uh, temper boiling over again. And, uh, you know, we can't take that to the next shot. Otherwise, it's, you know, well, personally, yeah, it affects me if we take it to the next shot. So here's a, the 8 iron for a bogey. Let's see what we can do. And we recover a little bit, guys. Finally, um, a decent shot. First one in a bit. We're going to settle. All right, guys. So we are on the final hole. We are on the back of nine on the Chino Creek course here at Prado Golf Course. So a decent chip. Got about five feet. So let's see if we can end it on a good note and not even a um, two putt here. So we could put this one away. You're definitely in distance to not uh, think we're going to have to two putt. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, for sure, thinking about this round, round guys, it's uh, topping the ball. That's the main thing I'm taking away. This is topping it, and uh, yeah, just wanting to hit the ball more center on the face, for sure. <laughs> and uh, even though it's a triple bogue, we ended on a good note, guys. So there's a scorecard. I'm not going to write the, the total tally on the right, because I'm not going to uh, put salt in my wounds like that. But I just want to show you guys a scorecard so you could see the the layout of the holes. You know, that's the goal on the channel anyway, is to show you guys courses here in uh, greater Los Angeles and in Southern California. So you guys, takeaways are going to be everything. You know, we had some bad drives, a lot of bad second shots, a lot of bad pitches, a lot of bad putts. But we had good second shots, finally came through with some good hybrid shots. And we, we had some good sh other good shots um, sporadically through the round, guys. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to be grateful for that. We've been playing for a year. Uh, we don't play very often, you know. I know there's guys who love playing the game, and so do I. Uh, this is a hobby, frankly, guys. It's a hobby, uh, not a career, but we will get better. That I promise you guys. All right, guys, so we're going to stay uh, persistent, and we're going to keep chipping away. All right, guys, we're not going to quit. We're not going to quit and go back to playing tennis uh, all the time. You know, 
We're going to play all the sports we love. That's why we're called Sports Nomad. All right, guys. So that's going to conclude it from here at Prado Golf Course in Chino, California. And I will see you guys on the next round. All right. Take care.